<laughs> Lord woke me up this morning with um, the word that call no man good. Call no man good. We've done it. We've done it throughout history. We do it all the time. He's a good man. Why didn't we listen? Why don't we live in the truth? Why is it so hard? Just to bear all, bear your soul before the Lord, before each other, one another. Why is it so hard? It's the only way to find peace. It's the only way to find the Lord, and it's the only way to find the beautiful room. Call no man God. Please look at the link. It's from New World Order Nemesis. She says that she had a dream where she saw Ivor Washington world leaders. One of them was bidden. Now 2020 is the year when Glory had her puppies on Christmas Day and New Year's Day. It was 2020. That's when the Lord wrapped this thing up. So it's a beautiful day and do you know where the beautiful room is? So there's four kings. There's three of them. And the Lord confirmed yesterday, the one that I didn't really want to bother with was King Charles. Did you see him in 2020? You know there's 17 all over all over the crown he's wearing. He's wearing a crown. I'll put it in, I'll, all I need to do is put it on the thumbnail. And you can see he's under it. It's colourful. It's like a fleur de monde or whatever you call it. Seventeen, and um, there's a cliff I watched, long, logical, but true stream media is enough in there, and I've got a timestamp if you bother to find it, and it's where a man's saying about how he got a television <laughs> to watch the Queen's coronation. And he had 17 neighbours around this small TV. And there was 1.7 billion people watching it. And then Charles stands under his corona crown to the UN. 17 points are made and 17 colours. There's six on one side, six on the other, and only five in the middle. Adds up to 17. Sorrow. They think they're doing well. Why don't you flip that three times? Who's doing well? We're doing well. We know where the beautiful room, we know how to go home, we know how to visit, we know how to see him, we know how to talk to him, we know how to hear him. And that's one thing they will never be able to do. Because there's some of us that are cut off forever. It's infinity for them, isn't it? 
round and round the number eight. Don't get caught in room eight. Remember. God's not under a rock. He is the rock. He doesn't hide and crawl like a bug. He doesn't fly like a serpent. He's the eagle. Eric has two eagles on his video. And Jeremiah 23, 16 tells you about the false prophets. Tickling ears. I can tell by the way they speak that it's not the Lord's voice. The thing is, when you know someone, you know, and you recognize his voice. So this is our pursuit. This is what we focus on. Yes, he said prepare, but I think that was for a couple of years ago. I know it was when he wrapped this thing up. So there's a portal above Washington State. And even Steve Quayle, look up the word Quayle, who's mistakenly thought that the Lord has a Holy Spirit that's female. Now just because the Bible, and I did read a book about this, it's in my testimony, just because the Bible His pronouns, his and he and she. Don't be fooled by using your vile flesh and wisdom, your own ungodly wisdom, into thinking he is anything but masculine because he was betrayed by the female rival. He's not sending a Holy Spirit that's a female. That one went. That one went. So the Lord does weep over Jerusalem. He does gather. Would desire to gather. Like a hen would gather chicks. He does protect his children like a mother bear. Like a, like a mother bear. And he does send two sheepers and more, the children. They're young men. It's the curse. So don't think I haven't done my homework. And don't think the enemy has not tried to show me something that's a lie. So that I can speak about it, turn it up and call it the truth. When we see our brothers and sisters in a lie, just believe that the Lord can do the impossible and he can flip it one more time so they walk out in truth. I've lived a lie and I'm walking out in truth. Let's walk this out. Let's run this race. Let's finish this race. We just need to dig in, press in. It's a beautiful day. It's New Year's Eve today. Call no man God. Just remember that. Trust only me, the Lord said. And why was I shocked by it? Because I never believed his word, did I? Just trust only me. Just remember, the enemy's doing his best to confuse and deceive. And if it were possible, even the elect would be. In the end, we will know who the elect are. And they won't be walking around spouting about a female rival who's a, who's a Holy Spirit. Because she ain't no fucking Holy Spirit. <laughs> She's not really female. She doesn't have a vagina. That's just the system we got sent to. We got in prison here. <clears throat> and we were trapped. Matt, the truth is right. Have a look at his points. He's trying to answer the questions in life. The most important things. 
and the questions are all good and I can answer them. But his problem is he thinks that nobody can really truly know. For sure. The problem is that. Because when you truly really know for sure, is a sign when you know the truth and you actually commune and you speak with the Lord, you know him as your friend and you have all authority in his name over every demon and every false word that rises up against the kingdom of God because the kingdom of God is here. That's how we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and please forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the kingdom and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Mm. Praise the Lord. He's building the church. If you had eyes, you'd see it. If you had eyes, you would see it. If you had ears, you would hear it. If you had wisdom, you would listen to the eyes and the ears and the messengers and the angels from heaven and you would know the truth. That may not be now, but it will be soon. Because the Lord can do the impossible. There's nothing impossible for the Lord. So when you hear a rebuke, when you hear us sharpening each other, iron against iron, don't come in with your Woodstock Christian grace covers everything doctrine because you go down with the rest of us. You don't realise that the Lord is sharpening us when the fire is coming and that's what this is all about. You don't get to this place without going through the fire. So my advice to you is rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. It's all these Catholic songs coming back. Hmm? Isn't it funny? He can turn up the Catholic shit. And they are shit. Better get out of Babylon. <laughs>